What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna troubleshoot the uh, screen frozen issue for the Moto 360 watch. Uh, it's a, uh, so I have a Moto 360 second generation watch. It's a smartwatch and I had this for like three years and um, I suddenly, like yesterday, I realized the screen has frozen. The screen is not uh, working anymore, it's not responsive to me. So um, I'm going to share with you how to fix that, how to how to reset your watch so that you can reboot it so, can, so that you know your screen can come back to life again. So let me show you what the current situation is and I'll walk you through how you can do that. So as you can see my Moto 360 it's version 2, it's actually hung, it's frozen. I mean the touch screen is not responding. Um, it's not responding to any motion, any action. It's not sliding anything. So if I even click that. You know, I am not able to actually scroll that either. So this isn't working. It's actually happened to me for the first time. It never happened to me earlier. Uh, I have this. I had this watch for like three years now. It be, it it has been working great, but so suddenly I don't know what happened, what triggered this, but uh, it's not responding to my touch. So here's how you can fix it. Just keep on pressing your 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 single button that you have on on the right and it will turn off as you can see it is turned off right at the moment and press it again to turn it on back and the watch is turned on and once it has booted, it has completely booted, I believe it should be working again. The touch screen should, should be responsive back again. So I'm going to verify that. Let's wait for the watch to actually boot up. And the watch is back up. Let's check out the functionality and it's working back. So as you can see, the touch screen is responsive back again. Awesome. So this is how you can actually solve this problem. I'm still unsure what actually triggered this problem. The touch screen went away, you know, it wasn't responsive anything or like that. But as you can see, the touch screen is working back again. So yeah, this is how you fix it. I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you and if it was, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more cool videos like this. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.